A house built according to Foster science is considered to bring in the happiness and pleasures of life. Similarly, if the plants in your house are not Foster compliant, it could adversely affect your life. Here are some of the rules that need to be followed to ensure that your house is Vostu friendly and also some tips to help you select the plant. People generally keep Tulsi and money plant in homes because they bring prosperity and good luck, according to Vastu Shoster. But very few of us know about the plants that should not be kept in a house, because Vedic sciences and even Feng Shui consider them to bring negative energy. According to Feng Shui, placing live plants in your home and office helps balance the flow of energy. To make your house Vastu friendly, here are some tips about which plants you should avoid keeping at home. Although this is just a philosophical system that does not have any scientific foundation. Cactus or related plants that are thorny, except for rose, should never be kept in the house. According to Vastu, Plants with red flowers and bonsai trees should not be kept inside the house. However, you may keep them in an open space or garden. Both Vastu and Feng Shui specialists propose that tamarind can send negative vibes and energies at home. It is accepted that evil spirits dwell in Tamarin, therefore, care should be taken not to build a house at the site of Tamarin plant or to bring home this plant. Similar with the Tamarin, it is also believed that evil spirits dwell in Myrtle Tree, therefore, care should be taken to avoid building a house where such trees are present. Cotton plants and silk cotton plants are not an amazing pick to have at home. These blanketed white plants look pretty when utilized as a decorative material, however, they are not the ideal choice according to Vastu. These plants catch the dust inside your house easily, and that represents bad luck and poverty. So, keep these plants on the outside. The botanical name of the babul plant is Vachelia nilotica, a gum arabic tree with flowers. Though it is known as a healing tree and bears pretty yellow flowers, it is not favorable to be kept in the home. Vastu specialists state that it is good to avoid keeping bubble plants at home because the thorns can create disputes in the home. The carnation of the air, with scientific name Tillandsia aranthos, it is a very easy to grow plant that is usually kept indoors. Nevertheless, it is not convenient to have it inside the house since it absorbs good energy. Agave are very fast-growing plants that are widely used to decorate gardens. Sun lovers, it is preferable to have them outside the house either on the patio or on the balcony, or in the garden itself if it is available.
hydrangeas are acidophilic shrubs that is they need a substrate and irrigation water with a low ph between 4 and 6 so that they can grow well which according to feng shui it represents loneliness therefore it is not advisable to have it inside the home Because this type of plant has quite sharp thorns, there are various beliefs about it. The main belief is that it is thought that increases the state of nerves and tensions within the home. The same belief says that if you place them outside, they will serve as an amulet that helps protect the home from all the bad vibes that come from outside. Creepers and climbing plants are those that are usually most used in outdoor areas. If they have a vine or climbing plant indoors, they are supposed to cut back as they grow so they don't completely cover the surfaces. In the case where they grow too big, they will not allow positive energies to flow well within the environment of the house. Therefore, the best decision we can make according to Feng Shui, is that we have this type of plants in the garden. The basic purpose of bringing plants in our homes is to fill the house with positivity and fresh air. All the plants should bloom and the leaves should look fresh. This is why you should dispose of the dead or rotten plants, to keep your home indoor garden clean and beautiful. Be it small or big, avoid placing potted plants along the north and east walls of the house. Tall trees, if present in the east or northeast direction of the house, emanate negative energy. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, and click on the notification bell, to be always updated with our new videos.